Harry Garfield is the senior vice president of music at Universal Pictures. Uh, tell our viewers what that what that means to be senior vice president. What do you do, Harry? Uh, what do I do? I I figure out what the budget should be on the on the movie first, uh, and um, and then we we cast a composer and we license the songs. We track the we figure out the size of the orchestra for the budget we have. We track that all the way through the movie, and also what songs are going in, and uh, the soundtrack album, and just follow it all the way through to the end, and try to stay on budget, try to give the director what they want creatively, uh, and and still be responsible about the the money. So, let me ask you a question. We we have a lot of taxi members that are composers. Um, some of them are incredibly good composers, but they live in Peoria, and you know they'd have no way of getting to you or anybody else in in Hollywood, quote unquote. How does somebody who is genuinely talented and has a home studio and is really getting good at composing, how do they break into this industry? I think the the most important thing is to to uh, if you want to be a film composer is to write music to pictures, you know, to, you know, whether it's home movies, uh, you're, you're, uh, if you have a friend that's a, a student doing student films, do music to that, just get, write music to picture, because it's a whole different uh, uh, animal. And uh, so any, anywhere, documentaries, anything, just, just start getting your stuff done so somebody might see it. Those, the people that you're doing it for, they may go on and do deals, and, you know, most, a lot, of these, a lot of people get jobs because mostly at, where, where I work here, you know, most of the people uh, have done a lot of movies and they have a long list of credits and you, you can look at all this stuff, but it usually starts with a relationship with uh, their music with, with, with the director, so uh, you have to start just doing it, you know. I like the whole uh, working with film student thing. I, I've always recommended when I, I go out and do my little seminars, I tell people, Go to the best film school that's close to you and ask the head of yeah. that department, who's your best guy? And start doing music for free for student films. Uh, oh, Scorsese, when he was uh, at the Oscars this year, um, his composer that he's worked with for eons, uh, he met her in, in film school and she did that for him. Um, okay, so let's assume that somebody doesn't live near a college that's got a film school and they can't ride that horse, so to speak. They can't just send their music into a guy like you and hope that you're going to recognize their talent and then hand them a you know yep. four million dollar um, music budget on a seventy five million dollar movie. So, yep. uh, is it true that you guys in Hollywood typically go with the people that you've worked with time and time again that are road tested and proven? Um, I like well that uh, you know I, a lot a lot of people think that that means you know. Uh, just grabbing the same names over and over and over, but uh, I, I go by myself. I go by people that I have worked with that I know how they they actually. I have to see somebody working. If you listen to somebody's music just without a picture, even if you see it to a picture, you have no idea. It could be a team of people doing it. You you, you don't know, mm -hmm. but it, it really I, I like to have seen somebody work. Actually, be in the studio with them and see how they how they have to change because things keep changing. How fast can they change this and adapt to this and how they really can, uh, how they understand that being a composer for a film is like being an accompanist. It's really, it's not your piece of, you know, it may stand on its own, but it, it's there to support the, the picture. So you're really accompanying the picture. It's like... And there's a lot of technical stuff involved. I mean, you can't just be a good composer in order to be a real film composer, don't you have to understand how to hit cues and the timing and all the mechanical aspects of, of that? Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of math involved with, you know, like how long and uh, how long is the scene, and the scene keeps changing because the, 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 you know, the, the director and editor is, are changing constantly until right. the movie's done, so you con constantly have to keep changing, but, uh, you know, y y most composers have a team of people that are helping them with it, editors and music editors and and uh, people that are adjusting, and if, if you're doing it, if, if a lot of people write their scores electronically and then have it orchestrated out for the musicians, depending on what your budget will allow, but it's a constantly changing thing. You know, the picture's changing, size, and it, you know, it's a lot of frustration sometimes for a composer to go, oh, it's, oh, I just wrote all this, oh, I've got to change this, but yes, you know, some, 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 some directors, it's all style, some directors like you to hit, 
you know, the door is closing and the music goes boom. And right. some people like it just to play right through like it's nothing, so you don't feel like you're being told how to feel. You know, so it's every every filmmaker has a different style. So you know, there's the old old style movie scoring. You know, is a lot different than the stuff you you hear in the '70s and the '80s and the '90s. And how much of the stuff is being created in home studios now um, versus literally going to a big scoring stage with? An eighty-piece orchestra. It really depends on the style of the movie. I think it's uh, anything goes. You know, mm -hmm. it could be anything. It could be any combination of that. It could be one or the other. Or, you know, I, it, it it really every time uh, I read a script and, and look and try to figure out what it is, you, you could try to guess and look at the history of the filmmaker. What did he do last time? Who did he use? How does that film make? How does that composer work? And you try to guess how could this be done? Does this movie need to have a, a you know a big warm orchestra or can this be satisfied with uh, uh, you know samples and stuff 